Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, another new exciting video coming up. Just made our way home from Antigua. Uh, able to video the whole thing, kind of show what we're doing. It'll be a little bit of um, how to kind of stick to your schedule, keep your goals in mind, how to still uh, kind of maintain while you're enjoying yourself on a vacation, giving yourself a little bit of rest while also mixing in there a nice review of Hammock Cove, the, uh, the new place that we stayed at in Antigua. So really appreciate you guys coming along for the ride. If you'd obviously hit the like button, uh, subscribe to the channel, and watch this through this entirety, it would uh, really, really help out. See you soon. Hey everybody, we uh, landed, we're at the resort, checking in. Just had a nice lunch. We are at Hammock Cove in Antigua. We're waiting on our host to come in, take us to our villa. Great to see everybody. All right guys, so here we are in the bedroom, uh, walking through the front door. We have our kind of main living or sleeping quarters, a nice king size bed, a desk over on the other side, We'll walk through and get to see the uh, master closet that you have or walk-in closet that you have, which was really nice as we're unpacking. And then an unbelievably just luxurious, spacious uh, master bathroom with two sinks, nice little area for you to do your makeup and get set up for the day. Um, it's really cool because each villa is actually separate or individual. So you're not attached to another building and it's your own private villa. And then an unbelievably large, spacious, um, bathroom and shower in there with two shower heads in the stone and just extremely relaxing. Uh, come through the other door, which goes back through the main living quarters, and then you step outside into your own private outdoor space with a nice plunge pool, which was just great to hit in the morning when you wake up or right before you go to bed or to kind of dip into after a workout or coming back from the beach, just a nice relaxing place. And then you have your wet bar over there which ultimately got restocked every day and had all the drinks and everything that you're looking into. And then last but absolutely not least, just an unbelievable, incredible view of the bay in here, the seating outside, and just a great place to reflect and relax, drink a cup of coffee in the morning, or ultimately a great place to wind down at the end of the night. Cardio session is in one hour on the stair climber. No excuses. Antigua's been uh, it's beautiful. It's great we're getting our day started. Woke up about 6, 6.30 this morning, grabbed a cup of coffee, just did our fasted cardio, and getting it in. It's a great example of just making you know your priorities priorities no matter where you are and not having excuses. Oh, I'm on vacation. Oh, I'm here. I'm there. Just getting it in and getting it done. I mean, we're having a great time, having some drinks, celebrating uh, just us and getting away and getting to do something, taking a bit of a break from my practice prep that I just did and uh, enjoying myself, but also making sure I'm not losing focus of my goals and my hopes and uh, what do I want to accomplish over the next year. So uh, don't fall off too far. Stay in there, get it in when you can and enjoy yourself when you're on vacation. How are we doing today? Where are we at? Uh, Shirley's Point. We're at Shirley's Point today. Uh, just came down. 
having on some ribs, some chicken. Uh, Sarah's having some fish, but came up to a point, just watched the sunset, which you guys will see, and uh, just having a great time, hanging out, relaxing, enjoying the day. Just watching a uh, metal drum band, rocking and rolling, which will be a bunch of the music that you guys see on the video, all that good stuff. But uh, but yeah, incredible day. Antigua is awesome. Hammond Cove is unbelievable, and uh, everything's going really, really well. sauna action this morning trying to uh, stick to the routine as much as I possibly can so did a little uh, sauna this morning sauna is really great right behind me there uh, 25 minutes in the sauna this morning and then it's really nice because they have a plunge pool right next to it which you could probably hear the uh, waterfall going a little bit in the background it was out last night we went up to uh, this really awesome point and it's funny because we came back, went uh, to the restaurant, had our last meal for the night, and something dawned on me that I, I really wanted to share with everybody this morning. And it was just the fact, you know, in, in life and in time sometimes, like we just get stressed out about things and, and don't necessarily realize that that's what it is, and that's life, and life is stressful, and there's things that are going to happen. And actually, let me back up, because I wanna, I wanna put two disclaimers out there. What I'm about to tell you, isn't something to make an excuse or eliminate the fact that you absolutely have to work your butt off. You need to stay unbelievably focused and dedicated to the goal that you want to accomplish. And you know, whatever job you're in, whatever goal it is for you, this is not an excuse to lay off the brakes and not work just as absolutely as hard as you possibly can. But at the same time, we also can't control factors, right? And we all, there are things that are just inherently a part of our businesses. They're just inherently part of life. And we get upset about it or we want to constantly stress about those things. And when we're stressing about those things, it's taking away from our ability to focus and accomplish the tasks that we need to accomplish. Again, so my manufacturing facility, there's always gonna be a customer who needs to have their order sooner than they want. We're always gonna have vendor issues and defects and them running late on items and and dealing with vendors that are just you know not able to make it and we have to scramble for we're going to have issues with personnel and people inside of our facility whenever you're dealing with people there's always inherently just going to be issues and things that occur we're people nobody's perfect and we're having to deal with those things so we can constantly bitch and complain about those things or we can come to the understanding that those are a part of the challenges, those are a part of the obstacles, and those are just a part of the business and move on from that. And then try to come up with ways and solutions in order to combat those and make them so they're a little less difficult for us. You know, for people who are trying to get in shape, for people who are trying to lose weight, for people who want to become, you know, more healthy, for people that are trying to accomplish, you know, running an Ironman, me going for my IFBB Pro card. 
you know, we just create issues and we worry about things that we can't control and that we can't manage and we utilize those excuses for us not to accomplish the things that we need to get done. And that's not okay. You have to remove those barriers. Yep, it's always going to be a challenge and it's always going to be very difficult to prep for meals. Yep, you're going to run into situations where you can't find the ideal meal or you've got a bunch of just garbage around you. Like Those things are inherently always going to happen. You have to stop stressing about them. You have to put good pr programs and processes in place in order for you to be able to take care of those and eliminate those items. So here's where you check in to the resort, your front desk where you have your check-in as you walk through. And as you go through off to the right-hand side, you'll see there's a bar area where you can have bars and cocktails. Over to the left is where you have breakfast and your lunch and kind of your main restaurant area. As you move over to the left, this is where you get more into the hospitality side of things where you can check in to go on your catamarans and where you check out and kind of just general stuff. They had nice little seating areas throughout in the entire resort, just nice, calm little places to go. And then as you moved out towards the back, this gives a really good layout of the three tier pools that they have, the really nice views. You can see the veranda, which is across the bay. That's a place that has uh, kids allowed and those different types of things. And then you can just see the villas and ultimately the general layout of the entire facility. Out there when you go past the bay is right into the Atlantic Ocean and then you pan off to the left and the rest of the rest of the villas and the fitness area and all that stuff is down that way. And then upstairs they had a kind of a cool little game room, different area, another little wet bar up there so you could pour yourself drinks. There's a business center right there. But you know they had Scrabble, they had chess, you know just your generic board games and those type of things. Pool tables, there's your wet bar right there. Uh, nice little refrigerator filled with you know different soft drinks, those type of things. And then again, a nice little seating outdoor area. The other place that they had was the Lighthouse, which is their Michelin star restaurant. And uh, that was really, really good for dinner. It was a great overall, just awesome, peaceful place to be. All right, guys, so uh, that was our trip to Antigua. Hope you, uh, hope you enjoyed it and hope uh, it was a little educational for you, and if you're somebody who's looking to go to Hammock Cove or do it, hopefully it uh, gave a little bit of insight on it. We totally recommend it. Incredible place, very relaxing. One of very few vacations I've ever gone on where I didn't need a vacation from the vacation when I got home. Unbelievably relaxing, absolutely incredible. Thanks for hanging with me uh, this long through the video. Uh, if you have any comments or questions or things like that that you'd like to know about the resort or uh, anything in general, we'd be, um, more than happy to uh, answer those questions for you. I have a link to the resort in the information below, and, uh, and thanks again for uh, hanging with us. That's it.